Welcome to a new vlog. If you are new here, my name is Kim. I am a third year fifth grade teacher in West Michigan and today is Monday. It is April 19th and I finished editing my video that went live yesterday for me, but a week ago for you. I finished it yesterday morning and as I was editing that video, I just noticed like I did not see myself. Like I was very like low energy and I don't know how much of that like came across on camera to you guys, but it's definitely something that like I felt. So yesterday I made the decision that this week I am going to focus a little bit extra on self-care because last week I was just super exhausted it was the first week back from spring break and there were just like tons of moving pieces so many things going on and so yesterday I made a list of three things that I want to focus on this week to take care of myself so I'm going to start the video by sharing three things I'm going to try to do this week to take care of myself and to make sure that I am in the right mindset and that I am happy and energized and ready to go as a teacher but also just like as a human because self-care is important for everybody so I would challenge you to make a list of three things that you can do this week to take care of yourself as well so the first thing that I want to do every day is move my body so whether that means going for a walk or we do have a little stationary bike at home so that's what I use this morning whatever that means I do want to fill my exercise ring on my Apple watch every day and then another goal that I have for myself is to pick out my outfits beforehand because that's always the hardest part of my morning like I can get up out of bed and I can get ready and all that stuff but I hate getting dressed and I think a big part of that is I never pick out my outfits beforehand I always used to and this year I just haven't and so I already picked out my outfits for today through Wednesday last night and then I'll have to pick outfits for Thursday and Friday maybe tonight or later in the week so picking out my outfits beforehand so I don't have to do that in the morning and then the third thing I want to make sure to do this week is actually eat lunch every day because a lot of times I'll end up just kind of like snacking through my lunch or I'll like eat so super fast that I just like don't feel great right after and for the last week I had like Lunchables that I kept in my fridge every day and that's like fine and dandy but I didn't feel great after any of those because I would like scarf them down and then you know not actually get a chance to enjoy them so I packed some lunches already for today and tomorrow that I know I will enjoy so I'll share with you what I brought and I'm just about to put those in my fridge <gasps> I forgot dressing oh I forgot Oh no. Okay, so I packed a couple of salads and then I bought some dressing that I meant to bring with me and I just realized I left it at home. So that kind of stinks. Maybe I can get like some ranch or something from the cafeteria, but I just have a couple of salads. You can't really see them because they're cold. <laughs> so the top of them is just like all condensation, but I packed those. And then I've never tried this before, but I am actually, I have a lactose sensitivity. And so I decided to try this vegan Mac, which means it is cheeseless. So I'm hoping this would be a little bit nicer on my stomach. This is from the Annie's brand. And I figured I'll just leave these in my classroom and then they could be a good, like in a pinch type of lunch. And then I also packed a bunch of these little sugar-free jellos just as a little treat. So I have a bunch of different flavors that I'm going to stick into my fridge. So anyways, I cleaned my fridge out yesterday when I came in I like wiped it all down and got rid of anything that was like old and yucky so I think I'm gonna refill my fridge now with these things so let's do that okay so bunch of little jello cups right there and that's what my fridge is looking like right now so nothing too exciting I did pick up this dark chocolate hummus but I don't really have anything to dip it in I just picked it up because it looked good but I think I might bring this home but yeah this was just from Aldi and I've heard a lot of people talk about the Trader Joe's one, so I thought I would try this one and see how it goes. Okay, so I'll show you a quick little outfit of the day. I am finding that these straps are like way too long for me, so you know what? I might even try to cut another hole into these 
I don't know if I'll be able to do that with my like school safety scissors, but I kind of want to cut another hole higher up because these straps are just like way too long for me. But I got this little overall dress from Plato's Closet a couple of weeks ago. And then this is like one of my favorite tops. I wear this all the time as so you guys see it in like every video. But this is just a three four sleeve little like mock neck type top that I thrifted. And then I have on Lululemon leggings, but I like my airy ones just as well. They're honestly like the exact same, but I do have a couple pair of Lululemon lemon ones and these are one of them and then I just have on these little boots that I got from Nordstrom Rack and actually they're like pretty high they're not super comfortable which I realized after I bought them when I just like walked around the store they seemed comfortable but now I have to wear like pretty thick socks with them because I got them a half size too big which I kind of am in between sizes so I thought it would be okay but yeah they're not super comfortable but that's all right so this is today's outfit and if you're thinking of things to put on your self-care list, even just saying some daily affirmations would be a great thing to do. I like to say daily affirmations when I remember. I don't always remember. But sometimes I'll say a few of these into the mirror or more often I do it like while I'm getting ready at home. And sometimes I say it out loud, but usually I'll just like say it to myself in my brain. And I definitely notice a difference. That one was falling down. There we go. Oh, and then as for my rings, I just have the same rings I always wear. Pura Vida for this one, <laughs> my husband for that one. I've been wearing these rings every single day, like <laughs> on the same fingers and everything. These are from Pura Vida as well. I showed these in my last vlog. And then I do have on the same impressed nails that I had on in my last vlog as well. So they're still holding strong. I'll probably have to change them at some point this week, but I have a few other packs on deck for when these ones fall off. Hello, sweet friends. It is after school now, and I did end up DIYing a little fix to my outfit. I don't know if you can tell, but I just used safety pins to shorten the straps on this little overall dress, and it ended up working much better because before that, it kept like falling down. It was super annoying. So maybe someday I'll cut in new little holes, but I did not want to do that with safety scissors at school. So instead, I used safety pins and made it work. So I know that you were just all on the edge of your seat waiting to see if I figured that out and I did in fact so life is good also another good thing from today one of the really lovely lunch ladies we seriously have like the best lunch ladies here but she brought this down and she was like hey so I bought this magazine and I just thought that maybe you would enjoy sharing it with your class and maybe passing it along to the other fifth grade teachers as well and I was so excited and also just like honored that she thought of me and thought of like my class and then the other fifth grade teachers as well we love Amanda Gorman here so Amanda Gorman is on the cover of this Vogue magazine. So it is National Poetry Month right now. So I'm really excited to share this with my students. I didn't get a chance to do that today, but I'm definitely gonna share this with them tomorrow. So that's awesome. Super excited to go through this and I might read it myself too before sharing it with them. And then also I bought her book. I actually bought a copy for myself and a copy for my best friend, Melissa, like right when it came out because I was super excited. So this is just her inaugural poem, but she also has a couple other books coming out later this year. So I'm super excited about that. And then speaking of books, this is the middle grade novel that I am reading right now and I'm going to take this home tonight and probably read quite a bit more of it. This is Tunnel of Bones by Victoria Schwab. This is the sequel to City of Ghosts so I'm about this far so far. I think I just started this on like maybe Friday of last week so I'm going to take this home and read some more of this tonight and I'm really enjoying it so far. I really really liked the first book so if you've not read City of Ghosts I highly recommend it. It's a great middle grade just kind of creepy story. Obviously it's not like super scary because it is like a middle grade novel but it's pretty creepy so I would recommend it. So today ended up being a good day overall. Nothing too crazy just you know trying to stay above water on a Monday for the most part but we had fun together and we got to play our vocabulary game that we've been playing every single Monday. I can't remember if I've talked to you guys about this yet. I don't think I have. Let me put it on the screen a second and we'll look at it together. Okay, so I thought I would quickly just go through these slides with you to show you some of the things that are on my slides through the day. I don't think I have any student names on here, but if I do, I might have to skip through those ones. But basically, this is just the screen my students see when we start our day. So I have a little GIF every day that changes and then it tells them what special we're going to and the hot lunch of the day. Cold lunch is always either peanut butter and jelly or cereal so those are the three options for every day and then we do a quick check-in most days this is our current read aloud we have daily affirmations we've been doing lately instead of a quote of the day so we say it once out loud and then they say it once to themselves in their brain and then this was a cool idea that I got from Travis Jonker who actually did a book visit for us so I show a book and I like Lego fi it so I can link this in the description box as well as Travis's blog he's seriously awesome so anyways I Lego fi 
by the cover of a book that we have and then they guess what it is and then the next page will show the actual cover of the book and we'll see if they guessed it correctly and then I give out a team point if they get it correct. Odd word out I've talked about a bunch of times so today these were our four words and the correct word was potential or at least that was the thinking that I had in mind because potential was the only word that did not have a prefix but it could have also been you know any of the words for different reasons so you could have said maybe it was unstoppable because that's the only word that ends with a vowel or begins with a vowel for example or I forget what one of the kids said they had a really good idea that wasn't my idea I think it was the number of vowels let's see one two three four one two three four yeah all of them have four vowels except for non-existent I believe let's see one two three four. Oh no wait one, two, three. Oh, okay. All of them have four vowels except for resigned, which has three. So they have to use a sentence starter. I've been working more on making them use sentence starters lately, so I think the odd word out is blank because... And then after odd word out, we have our question of the week that comes from our curriculum. We do our weekly fluency passage. So we read this passage every day for a week and then they're tracking their word count at the bottom. Then I have our amazing words, which these come from our curriculum. And then um, this is actually a phrase, but it's under our amazing words. So with this, I have them make a prediction about what they think the word will be. And then they give me a thumbs up once they have their prediction. I tell them what the word is. They do a little connection symbol from me to you, from me to you if they are correct it's like this if you see it that way and then we repeat the word as a class and then we um, break it into syllables so they tell me how many syllables are in the word and then the next one we have been playing this vocabulary game which is so fun I learned this from one of my team teachers and I love it and the kids love it too so basically this is how we have been doing our weekly vocabulary so before I was just having them like say it out loud with me and it was kind of boring well now they write down these dashes in their notes notebook and then I have the prefixes or the suffixes in circles like as the rewards um, strategy and then they have to write down the definition and then also I loop it I was looping it in PowerPoint for a while but it was kind of annoying to try to do it because it just like wasn't super user friendly so I just loop it on the board instead into its syllables so for example for this one I would say okay so the definition is about the management of the money and supplies of a household government etc and I just remind them that they have to have a definition written down to make a guess so they can't guess until they have their definition and then they can guess letters. If there's any incorrect letters, it's kind of like Wheel of Fortune. I put the incorrect guesses over here. The correct guesses go on the dash. So you can see if you can figure out this word. So let's say somebody guessed E. Well, here is an E. So I would do this just like writing on the board, but I'll just write it right there for you guys. And then maybe they guessed I. I. <laughs> Maybe you get the point there. And you could even give them clues like that. It would go by a lot faster. And then I would have my loops already on there as well. And then maybe they guessed P. Well, P would go in the incorrect guesses. And I'm just like writing this on the whiteboard. The word is economic. So economic is the word. And then they would write that in their notebooks. So I have that with all of the words. And then... This is from our curriculum, comprehension, skill, and strategy. Normally, I do our inferencing box. I actually didn't this week. I just didn't really think of a ton of stuff to put in it, and so I didn't make one this week. But most weeks, I put different items that relate to our mean selection in this inferencing box, and then we make an inference. Then this is our daily fix it. This is from our curriculum, and then I always put in these like silly timers. This one's of three rats dancing. <laughs> This is something I recently learned that I've been doing and I love it and the kids love it too and it's just such an easy thing to implement. So I got the idea to do this from the Michigan Reading Conference and actually they do more of like a 20 minute free write but because of the timing that we have I knew that there was no way we could have a 20 minute free write so instead I've been doing a 60 second free write so they can write about whatever they want for the first 60 seconds and they have to write the entire time so I don't care what they write about but they must be writing and I make sure everybody is writing before I start the timer and it's just helped to kind of build their confidence as writers and then get them excited for writing so that's been fun and then I'm actually going to skip forward a little bit because I do have names on some of these slides so I'll show you this right here let me actually scoot this so I don't accidentally get names so this is smat up I bought this off teachers be teachers I highly recommend it I will link it in the description box basically they have to use all four of these numbers to get this as their answer so they have to know order of operations they can multiply divide add subtract but they can only use these four numbers 
fingers and they can only use each one once and they have to use every single one of them at least once. So in this one, maybe you can try to figure out how you would get to 20 and then we share our answers. And that's about it. That's all I can really share. The rest are like groupings or have student names on them or whatever. I do have this that you could see, I guess. <laughs> this is the screen I put on right before we go to lunch and recess. But yeah, you hopefully get the idea. Okay, so I think I am going to go ahead. I think I'm crooked actually. Let's see. Ah. Ah, there you go. Is that better? I can't tell. <laughs> so I think I am going to go ahead and get all packed up and then skedaddle because the night is young and so am I. So anyways, I will check in with you guys maybe tonight, but most likely tomorrow. Hello, sweet friends. So it is already Thursday. I know I blinked. It happened. Here we are now on Thursday. Yesterday, we survived our first day of standardized testing, our state test. We take the M step here in Michigan, and it is a doozy. Let me tell you, I'm sure that state testing in every state is probably a doozy. So I'm not saying that mine is any worse than anybody else's, but it was literally the entire day. Also, I wanted to update you on my self care for the week. So I have pretty much kept up with my self care, my three goals. I've been waking up early every day this week and working out and like moving my body and that just helps me to feel like energized when I start my day and like I've like already accomplished something which is a good feeling. And then I picked out all of my outfits on Sunday night I believe until Wednesday and then last night I was laying in bed and I was like oh no I forgot to pick out my outfit so in my brain I decided on the outfit I'm wearing so I don't know if that counts for like picking out my outfit the night before because I did not set it out but I don't know we'll count it so I picked out the outfit I'm wearing I'll show you it in the mirror in just a moment and then I am not remembering that third goal off of the top of my head I'll need to go back and watch that footage or maybe I put it in my phone I don't remember so yeah, overall the goals are going well and I do feel definitely like more relaxed this week. Like last week I was just so exhausted every single day. And this week when I get home, like I haven't taken any naps after school or anything like that this week. Typically I get home and like crash on the couch or in our spare bedroom and I'll sleep for a little while. Even if it's just like 20 minutes, usually I'll take a little bit of a nap. And I haven't done that at all this week, which I've been waking up earlier and I still have not been tired or as tired at least when I get home from school. So that's been a really good feeling. So yes, self-care works. Hopefully you are engaging in some sort of self-care as well. Let me know in a comment below what self-care goals you have or like what you're doing for self-care right now. I would love to know. Okay, so this is definitely like one of my go-to outfits because it's super comfy, especially on like these cold days. It's like super cold today. It was actually snowing for a little while yesterday, so that's not ideal. So this turtleneck sweatshirt is from Airy, and I love it. I actually have it in a couple different colors. And then these pixie pants are from Old Navy. They're super stretchy, super comfy, and they go with like everything. And then these shoes are from Old Navy as well. I wear these all the time, and so that is the outfit for today just super casual but also really really comfy and warm and pretty cute Now it is Friday and I am all smiles for a couple of reasons. The first reason is it's Friday, enough said. Second reason is because I am really proud of myself right now. So I told you at the beginning of the week that I was gonna make a commitment to waking up early before work every day and working out. And today was the fifth day in a row that I made sure I closed my exercise ring on my Apple Watch before I started getting ready for the day. And oh my gosh, is it ever a good feeling? I think this is like maybe the first time I've done that ever. Well, probably not ever, but definitely this school year. So I'm very proud of myself for taking time for me. And when I felt myself starting to get stressed, like, oh, I forgot to answer to this email or, oh, I forgot to do this. Then I just like got rid of that thought out of my brain. And I'm like, you know what? I'll worry about it when I get to school and I don't need to worry about it at home. And oh my gosh, I feel so much better. Like I felt so energized this week. I think I told you in my vlog clip yesterday, but I have not taken a single nap after school any day this week. And I think this is the first time that's ever happened this school year again. Like 
that I went a whole week without one single nap. That's crazy. So, oh my gosh, just feeling so energized. And because I've been working out and I had more energy, I've been making it more of a priority to eat a little bit healthier because I have more energy to like actually make meals or like think about what I'm consuming. And so it's just kind of had like that ripple effect. So if you're watching this and you're like, uh, Kim, I am so stressed, I feel you but make it a priority this week to pick at least one thing that you really want to focus in on, whether it's picking out your outfits the night before or making sure you pack a lunch the night before or that you wake up early to work out every day. I don't care what it is, but make a priority to engage in some sort of self-care, not just because it will make you a better teacher, but because it will make you a happier human because you are a human outside of being a teacher. Your life is so valuable and so worthwhile and it's just important that you are feeling like a million bucks. And so anyways, this is my little pep talk to you that you are awesome and you deserve all the wonderful things in the world and I can hear somebody right outside my door I think they're bringing me breakfast so I hope that our wonderful lunch ladies are um, enjoying my little pep talk to you guys right now if they can hear it but anyways you are awesome I believe in you and I would love for you to leave in a comment below what are you gonna commit to this week what one act of self-care can you do for yourself what two or three things can you do for yourself this week to make yourself a happier healthier human would love to know and I actually was feeling so inspired that last night I went on Etsy and I ordered two new bracelets. One says happy, one says healthy. So excited for them to come. Just as a little reminder that I deserve to be happy and healthy and I deserve to take care of myself and you know, I don't know, all the things. And now I feel like I'm rambling, but I'm happy about it. So I'm feeling really good. So yay. And now I'm kind of out of breath because I just talked like a mile a minute, so. Oh, also, did I tell you about my nails yet? I don't think I told you about my nails. So I just redid my nails this morning. I had on those pink nails for two weeks almost, or exactly two weeks, I don't really remember. But I did finally replace them because a couple of them popped off and I just decided I wanted a new color. So I put on these ones. These are the ones that I've been using, like the brand. They are the Impress Nails and I love them. These ones are from Ulta and I first got hooked on these because I think I told you in my last vlog but a dollar store near me which is a local one so I apologize I know that not everyone will have it obviously but a local dollar store has these sometimes and they're not usually like the new styles they're like older styles sometimes they're like ugly colors and patterns but that's how I tried them at first and I got totally hooked and obsessed with them and now I buy them at like Ulta Target wherever and sometimes you can get them on sale and so these were only five dollars on sale so pretty hype about that they are in the color 015 or 15 and it's called baby why so blue but I'm not feeling blue today. I'm feeling sunshiny. So I love these. I think they're such a cute color. They kind of remind me of, what was that Essie color that we all used to wear back in the day? Oh, um, Bikini Sotini. Was that the color that we used to wear? I don't remember. I remember from my like beauty guru days that we used to wear um, Essie Bikini Sotini, I'm pretty sure. But anyways, I will show you my outfit and then I'm going to maybe talk with some coworkers, maybe get some things ready for the day. I don't know, could be crazy. I don't have a single thing I like have to do today in the morning like to prepare for my students, so that's a good feeling. And the kids get here in about like 40-ish minutes. Yeah, 40-ish minutes. I just questioned my math for a moment, but I was correct. So I'm gonna pull you off the tripod and then let's go over to the mirror. And I'm actually wearing my new favorite jeans, so I'll show them to you in the mirror. <laughs> All right, so here, oh, I just tripped over my rug. Here is the outfit for today. The, uh, you can't see it, there we go. So this little like crew neck top is from Amazon. It's the Amazon Essentials brand. And then I have on this cardigan that I got from Nordstrom Rack a while back, like a few years ago, I think now at this point, but it's like my favorite, it's so comfortable. And then these are my new favorite jeans. How cute are these? I went to Plato's Closet and got these. They're Madewell brand and I got them for like I think $20 or something like that like how crazy is that so I was super excited I love secondhand and like consignment stores and thrift stores and like all the things so I was super excited about that and then I have my little lanyard that I always have from Etsy and I don't know if you guys have noticed in the vlog but I lost my little hand sanitizer that once upon a time was inside this unicorn from Bath and Body Works so I need to put a new one in but I don't really think about it when I'm at home and then also I got this like whistle that has a little compass on it 
This is from Walmart. So I've been doing Walmart pickup grocery orders lately and it's like so easy peasy lemon squeezy. And yeah, then I just end up searching like random stuff like this. I'm like, I wonder if they have a whistle for my lanyard and they do always. And it's like a lot less stressful than being inside Walmart and looking at things. So I got this for like a few bucks probably. And yeah, nothing really too exciting on there. And then I have on these little slides that I got off of Poshmark. And then my nails, my toenails are like bright neon yellow, which is fun. So I'm feeling springy, even though I think it's like 42 degrees right now but that's fine so that's why I like the cardigan obviously is necessary and then I'm trying to pretend it's spring with my little slides without being like freezing cold so that's the outfit for today also I'm teaching conversions right now so here's my little anchor chart I totally made this as an anchor chart when I taught fourth grade and then I think I threw it away for some reason when I moved to fifth grade which stinks so anyways I just printed my like little template or whatever off of my Google Drive that I had made and then I added in my own like little arrows and stuff and now it's just a small piece of paper because I can't be bothered to create a whole new anchor chart. It takes so much time so. So now it is Saturday and I decided to swing by my classroom really quick because I had a few things I wanted to drop off But I'm feeling really good you guys It is only like 1230 right now and I have accomplished everything on my to-do list for today So I set my alarm last night for 5 a.m. And just was like, you know, I'll see how I feel I probably won't actually wake up at 5 a.m. On a Saturday But if I feel so inspired I will get up and 5 a.m. Came and I felt so inspired and so I just got up and I did my workout I got all my laundry done. I cleaned the house and I had fun while I was doing it because I wasn't feeling stressed, if that makes sense. Like sometimes when I'm cleaning on the weekend, I feel kind of stressed about the cleaning because I'm like, oh my gosh, I have so many things to do. But this morning I was like, I'm cleaning because I want to clean, not because I have to clean. And how fun is that? And it was just like way more enjoyable. So that was really great. And I felt energized. I still feel energized. I ran all my errands. I ran to like the post office, the library. I took some clothes into Plato's closet and did all the things. And I'm feeling really, really good. So I even started editing this vlog up until this point. I didn't finish it quite yet, but I did start doing that this morning. So yeah, that's how I feel after a week of actually taking care of myself. And I need to continue this because I feel great. So it just goes to show that no matter how busy your life is, self-care is important. You can't pour from an empty cup. So Yes, and also I think I said this earlier in the vlog, but I just want to reiterate, like I'm not doing a bunch of self-care because I want to be a better teacher. Like if that ends up being a side effect, that's great. But I want to do a lot of self-care because I am a human who deserves to be taken care of and who deserves to slow down sometimes and if becoming a better teacher is a side effect of that awesome but if not my focus is just on becoming a better human and so i just want to reiterate that to you as well like being a great teacher is so awesome but there is so much more to your identity than just being a teacher you are also maybe a friend or a husband or wife or a partner a sibling you are so many things besides just your job and that's something that i sometimes struggle with so i just want to put that out to you as well like it's great to love your job and do a great job at your job a great job at your job that was a lot of jobs in one sentence but it's also great just to take care of yourself because you are worthy and you are deserving of being taken care of. I really hope that you are feeling inspired to write down one, two, or three things that you can do for yourself this upcoming week. If you want to leave them in a comment below, I would love to hear them. I think that would be really great. And then that way we can maybe get inspired from each other. And it's always fun to see different people's goals. So let me know in a comment below, what are you going to do for yourself this week? What are you going to do to take care of yourself, to make yourself feel rejuvenated, to just be, you know, excited about waking up in the morning? What are you going to do? Let me know in a comment below. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also make sure to leave me a comment below. Let me know what are you going to do to take care of yourself? What self-care goals do you have? And then also take a moment to subscribe and turn on that notification bell. I have a lot of calls to action in the end of this vlog because I'm actually remembering to say them. I don't always, but I'm doing pretty well today and maybe it's because I'm well rested. Who knows? So that is all for this vlog and I will see you in the next one. Bye.